Okay, so we're going to do uh, chicken in uh, thick soy sauce, um, stir fried, and then um, uh, water added and steamed a little bit. So this is uh, three pounds of chicken. It's um, chicken thighs, bone in. I've taken the skin off uh, to get rid of all of the fat, which is quite a bit. And then what you do is you use this uh, thick soy sauce, uh, which is um, available at most uh, Asian supermarkets, and uh, you just put this on. Yeah, it's nice thick stuff. So we're going to move this in because I had them warming up out of the fridge. So we're going to do this. Put plenty of this stuff on. Okay, and just get that all over the chicken. And then we can turn it over. Turn it over. Oh yeah. Okay, that's no need for this to sit for too long. It doesn't have to marinate like overnight in the fridge, but it just sits there and will be ready for when we want to cook it, which will be the the next stage. Okay, so now we're going to start uh, cooking uh, the chicken. So we got that. Nice big saute pan, stainless steel. Put lots of um, olive oil in because we have quite a lot of chicken. And then we go put that on. Just let that uh, warm up for a few minutes and then I'll be right back. Okay, so the oil has warmed up for a couple of minutes, starting to get some structure on its surface. So we're going to grab the chicken and uh, Put it in the pan. Right now, turn the heat uh, down once you got it up because I don't want to burn the soy sauce. Okay, so we're just going to let that, um, it's sitting on medium right now, so we'll just let that cook away. Okay, when you've got chicken you always want to wash your hands after touching it thoroughly. A good practice is uh, that. Now, what I do is I kind of have um, tongs to turn this over, but I'm going to let this sit on here at medium heat and just let it uh, cook and I'll get back when we're going to turn it. Okay, so we've been cooking this for about five minutes and uh, see it's not sticking to the pan, it's going nicely, nothing's bad about this and so I'm just going to turn this over so the other side will get uh, cooked. These are thick pieces of meat, so when we add the water and steam it, when I go to check if it's done in the end, I'm going to slash it with a knife just to make sure it's cooked through. So that's the whole idea. You don't lose anything by that because you're going to add water, there'll be a nice um, gravy, and uh, so this will work out really well. So I'll come back in about five minutes. Okay, so we've done uh, about another five minutes uh, from the second side of the chicken. So the thing to do now is we're going to add some water and steam it. So the water you can just add like this. And um, we're going to turn up the heat. You see that's quite a good amount of water. We're going to get that up to a steam. So we turn the heat up. Whenever you put cold stuff in a pan, you turn the heat up to give it a boost of heat. Uh, and um, we'll come back uh, when this is on a bubble. Okay, so it uh, just took a couple of minutes to get this up to a nice vigorous boil, and so we'll now turn the heat down just similar away. Just have a little bubble on that. So we got uh, steam going on, and uh, uh, we'll come back in about uh, five minutes, and we'll see where it is just by cutting it.
Okay, we're at five minutes on the steaming. You see we got nice steam going. I just turned them over and uh, we'll come back in about another uh, few minutes and we'll test it. Okay, so we're about uh, 20 minutes from the start of the cooking. We had five minutes aside in the stir fry and um, we've got about five minutes aside on. So I'm just going to bring this over so I can just make a slash in these and see where we're at on this. So we can just come in here and just cut down. And you can see that's still pink, so we got a little way to go on this, and that's a really good indicator to tell. So we're going to turn up the heat just a little bit and just leave that for another five minutes and we'll come and slash another one and see what happens. Okay, so we're on another five minutes. It's a total of 25 minutes since we started cooking this. And let's have a look and see what this one looks like. So we go down here. We see that's still a bit um, to go. So at this point, one of the good things to do is a very forgiving dish is just to cut all of these things. This is what I do to kind of get the steam into the middle of it. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to turn all these back the other way. Turn up the heat because we lost heat now. And we'll take it another five minutes and we'll see where we're at. So this is, it takes about a half an hour to do this so I'm going to put the heat up here. When you open the um, pan up you uh, let the heat out so we'll just pop it back up and we'll be back in five minutes. Very important to get the chicken thoroughly cooked. Okay so here we are it is now at the 29 minute mark on cooking this. I open these up and uh, slash them through and you can see they're nicely cooked. And this is all at low heat so you can cut through here see that's really uh, cooked and it's really beautifully done. So now I'm going to turn off the heat and just serve these. So I brought up my uh, white serving dish and we just take these and It'll make a big splash if I put them in. If I just threw them in from the pan. So I'm going to put these all across here quite a bit. And then we'll pour the, uh, the sauce all over them. And then we'll give you a final shot of what that looks like. So we've got that. The sauce comes over here. This beautiful sauce. There we are. And I'll just give you a shot of what it looks like. When it's okay, so there's the finished product. Really absolutely delicious. Moist chicken. Uh, about a half an hour from start uh, to end in, in the cooking. Uh, sauteed first and then steamed. And it is just totally delicious in this soya sauce.